A Minnesota tribal nation has filed a first-of-its-kind lawsuit in the state against social media companies. Yeah, the Fond du Lac Band of Lake Superior Chippewa is suing sites like Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok over an alarming mental illness surge among Native youth. In an interview you will see here first on Five, Renee Cooper sat down with a law firm representing the tribe. Renee? Oh, Kevin, this follows similar lawsuits filed by 33 states, including Minnesota. There's also a growing number of warnings and reports from top officials in the last year, like the Minnesota Attorney General and the U.S. Surgeon General. But this is the first time a law firm is bringing litigation on behalf of tribal nations, where they say the harm to kids is more severe and the resources to address it are slimmer. It's not just the lawyers saying that the two things are connected. Scientists have drawn conclusions and concluded, along with the U.S. Surgeon General, that social media use has targeted children. That's Tara Sutton, an attorney representing the Fond du Lac Band of Lake Superior Chippewa. They argue social media companies knew their platforms could cause harm and designed them to hook young people anyway. There was definitely an intent behind that, and that's the basis of all these lawsuits. Sutton points to a parallel line between the skyrocketing use of social media in recent years and a rise in youth mental illness and suicide, a surge far more staggering for indigenous kids and teens. So if you compare the youth to white America, it's five times the rate. Fond du Lac is the first tribal nation in Minnesota to sue the social media sites. The Minneapolis-based law firm representing them and four other tribal nations, creating the first cases like it in the U.S. to be brought by tribal governments. They say native kids and teens are equally gripped to these sites, exacerbating the mental health crisis on reservations where there are less resources to combat it. That's why tribal communities um, got involved in the opioid litigation to make sure that, that settlement dollars um, went into tribal communities because they simply don't have the infrastructure and they don't have the dollars to provide the type of services that are necessary to treat mental health issues. Now, Google, which owns YouTube and Meta, the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, were the only companies to respond to our request for comment. Meta is saying, quote, we want to reassure every parent that we have their best interests at heart. Now, in a separate statement, Google calling the lawsuit claims, quote, simply untrue. But you can read both full statements over on KSTP.com. In the newsroom, Renee Cooper, 5 Eyewitness News.